my name is Akshat and do you remember that in one of our last videos we learned about sieving which is a process to separate solids which are of different shapes and sizes. Today we are going to learn about a process named filtration which is to separate a insoluble liquid, insoluble solid and a liquid. So let's go. Guys, did you just hear me say the word insoluble? Yeah. It means an object that does not dissolve in a liquid. Oh. For example, a sand, a flour, and also powder. Yeah. There are many, many more examples. Yeah. So, right now, I'm going to tell you about three keywords. So, first we're going to start with solvent. So, a solvent is the liquid that allows a solid to dissolve in it. For example, water. The next one is solute. Salute. Solute is a object that dissolves in a solvent. And the third one is a solution. So a solution is a mixture of a solvent solid, a liquid, and a solute solid. An example for a solute solid is sugar, and a solution is a sugar solution. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So right now, we are going to make a solution. So, Urchin, can you please mix the solute sugar with the solvent water? Okay. Okay, that's all. Now, mix it. Mix, mix. Oops, it's okay. Mix. And after a while, you will see that you won't be able to see the sugar. Okay, Urchin. No. Okay. Okay, I think that's fine. No. You okay, let's just mix it a little bit now. Okay, let me drink it. That's good. It's just like sweet water. <laughs> Can I taste it? Yeah, taste it. Come on. Okay. Oh, did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good actually. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on with the process of filtration. Cool. Hey guys, here I have a mixture of flour and water. So how do we separate it? So we can separate it by the process of filtration. And the things we need are filter paper, filter funnel, and you can use a glass. Some people may use a beaker or a conical flask. It's just for collecting the filter, filtrate, which is the filtered water. So now let's filter the mixture. So I'll put it in. We might need it need to do it multiple times to make it faster. I'll just shake it a little. Oh, you can see the water coming out. Can you? Some water is coming out. See? The water? Okay, let's wait for a while. 
I did faster. Am I shaky? Okay. Uh oh. Come on, faster. So guys, I've been waiting a long time and finally we are done. So you can see it that the water is transparent now. So if we do it more times, it may be clear. Okay, so now I will tell you two key terms. The first one is residue. The residue is the material that stays on the filter paper. The second one is filtrate. A filtrate is the object or liquid that goes through the filter paper. Okay? So, in this experiment, the residue is the flour and the filtrate is the water. Do you see? Okay. I'll show you the flour. Do you see it? Okay. So we are done. Let's go. So guys, I hope you understand more about the uh, process of filtration and also the five key terms we learned today. Solution, solvent, solute, filtrate, and residue. Okay. So we will come with more educational and fun videos for you guys. Till then, stay safe, stay tuned, and bye!